Okay, loves, if you'd like to see how Miss Versatile transformed from Queen Latifah's little sister to this beautiful African goddess, then stay tuned. And while you're at it, click that subscribe button so you won't miss any transformations in the future. So first off, let me just start by saying, your body tells you when you're not taking care of it. You see these right here? These pimples? Yeah, that lets me know that my hair is dirty. Every time my hair needs to be washed, my acne acts up. I know for a fact I need to take better care of my hair. So the entire year of 2020, I wore weave almost every single day. My hair shows it. I literally did not shampoo my hair enough so my hair is dry and brittle my scalp is extremely dry I mean look at this look right here my ends are split um, the middle has kind of broken off a little bit shorter than the sides in the back but my hair definitely needs some tender love and care I'm talking severe breakage I mean every time I touch my hair hair is falling out so thankfully it's still very full and thick I just need to shake it back but I definitely have control over how I treat myself and love myself and my hair is a part of myself so we will be doing better so starting today I'm gonna put myself on a three-month routine where I shampoo my hair at least every two weeks and try different styles that are protective and see can we get this hair to flourish I mean look at this ponytail I'm talking crunchy that is sad I'm gonna start with this brand this is the Aussie brand this is a local store brand you can find it in Walmart family dollars or whatever I'm gonna start with their shampoo and then I'm gonna go in with the three minute miracle moisturizer let that sit for a few minutes comb it through and then lastly go in with their conditioner and I'll be right back Whew, baby this this already has <laughs> become a struggle for me already this reminds me why I don't tend to my hair all the time because it's very time consuming but it's gonna be worth it so now I'm gonna go in with their leave-in spray and just saturate my hair completely with it then I'm gonna go in with their leave-in detangle milk and also saturate the hair with it as well um i know it seems like i'm using a lot but my hair is very very thick so to get down to the roots i have to uh, apply a lot of product now you're going to see me go in and part off some really big sections to start detangling my hair I have to detangle my hair section by section, especially since it's been so long since I've combed it. Um, so I'm just not really making straight lines, but parting off the natural sections and just going in with a big comb. And then I'm going to go in with a medium comb. Just make sure I get all of the kinks. I'm also going to apply a little bit of as I am leave-in conditioner just as a little added bonus because my hair is so dry. This process normally takes me about 30 to 40 minutes sometimes. My middle part is the thickest and the most tangled, um, but by the end I'll have maybe eight to 10 chunky plaques. This is how much shedding I got. I know it seems like a lot, but for me, this is actually normal. I shed quite a bit of hair, so I'm used to this. It does not change the thickness of my hair at all. So now I'm gonna go in with the main choice exotic Kool-Aid um, definition gel. 
it has a very slimy consistency um perfect for a twist and when i tell you it smells like candy that is the reason i picked it up i got it from my local walmart So now I'm going to go into each of these sections and just part off a natural amount of hair and start basically twisting it. Um, each section will end up with about five to seven twists and I'm going to do it until I get to the top of my head. This process takes me about an hour and a half almost two complete hours. what it's looking like um, my hair definitely looks moisturized a lot healthier so I'm gonna go in with a little of Aussie's um, intense hydration oil I'm gonna rub that a light coat of that all over my head especially my ends and that's just to seal in all of the moisture that I put into my hair and basically gonna slip down my edges tie it down and go to bed I'm gonna have to get used to this because like I said all I've worn all year was wigs but the wigs were starting to take my edge back a little so I'm definitely trying to stay away from them um, I have to play with it and see what styles I like, but I can see myself rocking this for a little while. Okay, so here I am <laughs> a week and a half later. My plans were to take this down as soon as it dried, but I got so many compliments and the style was very, very convenient um, that honestly, I wouldn't even be taking it down right now if I didn't want to finish this video. I'm going to take it down so you guys can see the outcome and this will definitely be a go-to style for me for a while. I'm going to put a little bit more of that hydration oil on my hair. Um, I did oil my scalp a couple times over the past few days but I want to add a little slip to my hands as I begin to take them down. I'm going to pin them all up out of the way and one by one start in the middle or a little bit about a third ways up and start pulling them apart. here we go we are finally done and i must say i actually like it now y'all know i like big hair so this me right here this me right here uh except for these little scraggly ends which we'll take care of them later when we get out to Chris and get out this tree but for now like okay okay i think i can dig it so I'm going to just go in and kind of prep it up to me, to fit me. I'm going to go in with a pick and lift it, make it a little bit bigger because I like big, yes. And then I'm going to go in with a little gel, slip these edges down, a couple hairpins.
okay so one thing watch this right here you see this right here what i'm doing splitting these into pieces don't do that i noticed it was starting to make my hair frizzier and take away the curl pattern that the twist gave it we don't want that so don't do that Honey, this is like every step of the way I'm getting more and more into this baby I'm feeling this let me add a little, uh, uh, little accessory real simple real simple real cute okay Okay, this is officially like Miss Versatile's natural go-to style. So yes, most definitely like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys think about it. And be sure to stay tuned as we start this journey of getting back to our healthy hair and our healthy self. I love you dolls and I'll see you next time.